What's going on guys? Steve from the Minimasters here and I've got a quick tip here on how to install clearance lights the proper way. Okay, so you're probably going to be disappointed this is not a full install video. All I'm doing is addressing a few little problems and giving you tips to overcome them that you will have when installing clearance lights, specifically with mounting them to the roof of your cab. So first things first, I ordered a new set of clearance lights and I installed them uh, because the previous set were junk. If you want to know what junk looks like, this is them. And I'm sure maybe some of you have had good luck with these, but these have been on the truck from the previous owner. He installed them. This is a 150, as you all know, not a 250, so this is a non-standard add-on. But they look cool, so I wasn't just going to delete them entirely. So problem with these is because it's this two-part design, water would just hit the top pool in here and collect, and the gasket they had in here just really wouldn't hold the water out. So these would be full of condensation. The bulbs would short out. There are just so many problems. Another thing these cheap kits come with is sheet metal screws, either self-tapping or not, that you just put straight through those two holes right into your roof. And the trouble with is the hole, um, it's just too big. And the screw rattles, and what happens is they don't get a really good ground. So these lights are on, they're off, uh, it's shorting out uh, fuses, all kinds of problems. The most noticeable one was my driver's side. It really didn't stay down at all. And on the highway, you'd have like a hum, from the vibrating and of course if I even touched it one little bit the uh, fuse would go out and also in the same fuse that runs the speedometer it's like a whole bunch of different things so first things first threw those out got these nice thing about these is there's a completely sealed unit and they're LED the downside is you can't change a bulb but hey I'll live with it the thing that I did to address the rattling and everything else were these rivet nuts so this is a rivet nut it's basically a rivet that has threads, and you can then use a machine screw, which is so much better than using a self-tapping screw and just butchering your metal. So there's the old holes from the previous ones there. And as you can see, they just don't look that great. Uh, but with these, they look clean, they look great. Another thing that you can do with these is now you can take silicone or seam seal or anything, and you can actually seal these. That's the other issue with this previous design because the guy just screwed them right in they would and they would leak and then as these became loose they would leak even further so I did a video a little while back a couple weeks ago of a leak that comes down through the sheet metal right here in the corner of the body panel well I was also having a leak coming from the clearance lights which is what kind of spurred me to change them sooner rather than later so this solves two things keeps them tight on there and remember you can also put um, Loctite and it gives you an opportunity to seal them up so they won't leak anymore as for the old holes Probably eventually I'll probably weld those shut for you guys uh, These will actually be covered by these so if you want a real quick fix You can probably just put some tape under there some duct tape and they'll be hidden by your new clearance light Otherwise, you'll have to come up with the, you know, maybe fill it with some caulk or anything So anyway, guys, that's all for me like I said it's not a full install video. It's just a little thing you can do to make your install better. And this is the Minimasters. We're all about a really good install. If you're curious about uh, a rivet nut, this one's on Amazon. It's by a company called Tack Life. It works really, really well. It comes with a whole bunch of heads. And it comes with a whole bunch of the rivet nuts. There's only five to a pack. And to do this job, I needed 10. So I actually had to order some more from Amazon, but it was like really cheap. So rivet nut gun uh well gun tool uh we'll get the job done practice on a piece of sheet metal first so you know how far to crimp it it's not like a typical one where you crimp and it breaks um you go too far with that and you'll actually break the you know the mandrel head and whatnot so anyway guys steve from the Midmasters, thanks for watching